Yes, sir. My name is Walter May. I'm an English poet and translator living here in Moscow. And I have translated these poems of uh, Sergei Yesenin for his 100th anniversary of his birthday. Payot Zima, the winter sings. The winter sings with a long hallo. The mossy forest is lulled anew by hundred chiming pines. Above, with yearning deep and grand, go sailing to some distant land the hoary clouds' long lines. The blizzard in the courtyard blows and spreads a carpet of silken snows, but painfully cold they rest. These little sparrows playfully see, like orphan children family, to the window here have pressed. The tiny birds are freezing cold and hungry and tired, if truth be told, and squeezed together tight. And the blizzard, with a furious roar, bangs on the shutters and the door, and stronger shows its spite. The delicate birds are dozing still, despite the snowy whirlwind's will, by the frozen window pane. Of lovely spring are all their dreams, Beneath the sunshine's smiling beams, That beauty comes again. Vuitkalsa na ozere ali svet zari On the lake her tracery weaves dawn's blood-red sky. On the lake her tracery weaves dawn blood-red sky. In the wood, like booming bells, mournful wood grouse cry. Somewhere, too, an oriole cries, buried in the dell. Only I don't need to cry. In my soul, all's well. You will go at dusk, I know, cross the encircling track. We shall sit among fresh stooks by the neighbouring stack. I shall kiss you till I'm drunk, crush you like a flower, heady with much happiness. Words are past my power. You yourself, your silken scarf, soon will cast away. I shall bear you, drunk with love, in the shrubs till day. In the woods, like booming bells, let the wood grouse cry. There's a merry mournfulness in the red streaked sky. Cry, Lubime, Land Beloved, 1914. Land Beloved, my heart is dreaming, sunny haystacks in blossoming waters. I should like to go roaming in your hundred belled green quarters. At the crossing of the boundaries, mignonette and clever jumble, and a ringing on the rosaries, willows bow like nuns so humble. Marches in white clouds are smoking, haze neath heaven's yoke is blinking. Like a quiet secret for someone, 
In my heart I hide my thinking. All I welcome, all receiving, happy to tear out each heartstring. I have come on earth believing, only soon to be departing. Pesnia o Sabake, Song About a Bitch, 1915. At morn in the rusty shippin', a bitch dropped seven whelps. By the rows of gold horns a glisten, seven gold red shiny pelts. Till evening, she nursed and nuzzled and licked them clean with her tongue, and the melted snowflakes puddled from her belly warm with young. But at evening, when hens and rooster had perched on the stove in the shack, then out went the surly master. The seven he shoved in a sack. Across the snowdrifts she scrambled and tried to keep at his heel. And so long, and still longer trembled, the unfrozen face of the pool. Herself back again barely dragging, she licked her wet flanks and yelped. And the moon showed gold o'er the thatching, like one of the pups she'd whelped. And into the blue, profoundly, she gazed and kept whimpering still. But the slender moon slid roundly and hid herself under the hill. And numb, as from stones recoiling, which, like titbits, in fun they throw, the eyes of the bitch kept rolling like golden stars in the snow. Zelione Zapele Tessiane Drogi The rough-hewn carts have started squeaking. The rough-hewn carts have started squeaking. The plains and bushes go running by. Again small chapels by the roadside, memorial crosses neath the sky. Again I'm ill with this warm sadness. The oaten breeze which silver toss, and seeing the whitewash of the belfry, my hand Involuntary signs the cross. O oh, Rus, O oh, spreading fields of crimson, O oh, skies of blue steeped in the stream, I love till gladness and till sadness your lakeland melancholy scene. Your chilly grief you cannot measure upon the water's misty shore. But not to love you, not believe you, I cannot learn in my soul's core. I will not yield these cherished fetters. This lengthy dream I'll not let pass. When native plains around are ringing with praying, swaying feather grass. Rasbudi menya zavtra rana. Wake me early at dawn tomorrow. Nineteen hundred and seventeen. Wake me early at dawn tomorrow, O oh, you patient mother of mine. 
I shall go by the roadside barrow to meet a dear friend so fine. Today I have seen from the coppice the tracks of wide wheels by the marsh. The breeze neath the cloud bank joggles his golden wagon arch. He'll dash by when dawn is just breaking. Neath the bush his moon cap will bend. And his playful mare, mane a-shaking, O'er the step her red tail will extend. Wake me early tomorrow morning, In our guest room let lights be found. They say I'll soon be forming a Russian poet renowned. Of you and our guest I'll start singing, Of our stove, our cock, our old house, and right through my song will go swimming the milk of your rusty red cows. Zakrojilas listva zalataya. Round and round the golden leaves went spinning. 1918. Round and round the golden leaves went spinning on the pinkish waters of the pond. Like a flight of butterflies lightly winging, fading towards the starry height beyond. I'm in love today with such an evening, near and dear to my heart this yellowing dale. Boyish winds the birches bare need leaving, blow their skirts on high, just like a sail. Both in my soul and in the dale lies freshness. Twilight's blue, like a browsing flock of sheep, and beyond the garden gate, now listless, rings a little bell, then falls asleep. Ne'er before have I so carefully hearkened to the judicious feeling of the flesh. Fine would be to drop like willow branches tilting over in waters pink and fresh. Fine to be smiling on a haystack lying with a moon-like mug, a stalk to know. Where are you? Oh, where? my happiness quiet, loving all and wanting nothing at all. Ispaved Hulegana at Revak Testament to a Hooligan uh, Excerpt 1920 I deliberately go with unkempt hair with a head on my shoulders like a kerosene lamp the leafless autumn of your souls out there is like to illuminate in the dark and damp I like to stand up to the stones they throw like hailstones in the belching thunderstorm. I simply press more firmly my hands, you know, upon my curly hair where the bubbles form. It's pleasant then for me as a thought to give to the o'ergrown pond and the rough voice of the elder tree. There, somewhere or other, my father and mother live, who might look with scorn and spit on my lines, you see. To whom I'm as dear as their field, and as their flesh. At the shower in spring, which sets the grasses free. They would come with pitchforks, and stab you afresh, for every cry you make and raise against me.
ne želel, ne zavu, ne plačo. I do not regret, no cry, no clamor. 1921. I do not regret, no cry, no clamor. All will pass like apple blooms, white haze. Fading with the gold of dying grandeur, I shall see no further youthful days. Soon no more will you pulsate so frantic, heart of mine now touched with early cold. And the land of silver birch's fabric will not lure to roam barefoot and bold. <clears throat> Vagrant spirit, rarely, yet more rarely, will you stir my lips with burning blood. Oh, my youthful freshness, lost entirely, wild, wide eyes and feelings at the flood. I have now, with wishes, grown more sparing. Is life mine, or do I dream indeed? Through it, just like early springtime blaring, I have galloped on my wick pink queen steed. <laughs> <coughs> all, we all upon this earth are passing. Copper maple leaves drift slowly by. May you then receive eternal blessing. All thus born to blossom and to die. Vecher chonie brove nasapil. Evening has lowered its brows black and smooth. 1923. Mm. Evening has lowered its brows, black and smooth. Somebody's horse stamps there in the yard. Yesterday was it, I drank out my youth, broke away from you too, though it was hard. Horses, don't snort, nor shake your head. Life has passed and left no track. Maybe tomorrow the hospital bed I shall leave and not come back. Maybe tomorrow a new man I'll leave, cured of my heart's disease for good. I must hear songs from the birchery tree. Really all healthy persons should. I'll forget forces, evil and dark, which torment me and ruin me yet. Tender face, O oh, eyes all a spark, you alone I shall not forget. Though I may even another one love, but with her, that other one near, I shall speak of you, my sweet dove, whom I once held so near and dear. I shall tell how swift life has gone, flowed away, though no fairy tale. Oh, my bold head, what have you done? Where have you led me down life's dale? Pismo Kmatere Letter to Mother, 1924 So you're still alive, my dear old lady. I am too, and send you greetings bright. May you there stream above your cabin shady, still that inexpressible evening light that you hide anxiety and feel lonely 
that you are sad about me too, they wrote, that you often go to scan the roadway in your shabby ancient short fur coat, that you often see in Eve's blue darkness one same vision in which I play part, as if someone in the tavern fracas stuck a Finnish knife into my heart. Never mind, my dearie, don't get worried. That's just tiresome raving in your brain. I am not yet such a bitter drunkard that I die not seeing you again. I am still as previously loving and am dreaming of one thing alone, quickly as I can from restless longing to return to our low nesting home. I'll come back when buds on twigs are forming and our gardens white with springtime blow. Only do not wake me in the dawning as you used to do eight years ago. Do not wake the dreams which long have vanished. Don't disturb the dreams which came not true. Too much early loss and tired anguish in my life I had to struggle through. Don't teach me to pray. I need no lesson. There's no going back to that old rite. You alone are help and consolation. You alone my inexpressible light. So forget anxiety. Don't feel lonely. Don't be sad. And over me don't dote. Don't go out so often to scan the roadway in your shabby ancient short fur coat. Pushkino to Pushkin, 1924. A dreaming of that mighty bard who has become all Russia's fate, I stand on Tverskoy Boulevard. I stand and with myself debate Blonde-headed, almost white at the tip, I've become like mist, a legendary man. Oh, Alexander, you too were a rip, as I today am just a hooligan. But those amusements, a charming game, upon your image no shadow shed, and wrought in bronze as glorious fame, you stand and proudly nod your head. I stand as if a chalice I hold, communing in thought, I answer you. I'd die from happiness, all told, if such a fate as yours I knew. But to long harassment condemned, still many a day I'll live and sing May stepland songs of mine in the end, like yours, in bronze begin to ring. Yas Prasil Savodnia Umeniale. I today have asked the money changers. 1924. I today have asked the money changer, who for a half to a man gives one rouble due, how to say for my sweet lovely Lala, tenderly in Persian, I love you. I today have asked the money changer, knowing how like a quiet zephyr it is, how to say for my most lovely Lala that caressing word which means a kiss. 
And again I asked the money changer, giving of my trembling heart no sign, how to say for my most lovely Lala, how to say for her that she is mine. And that money changer answered shortly, Love in words one does not talk of so. Love is shown by sighs in secret, softly. Yes, and eyes like rubies gleam and glow. Kisses have no names, like unknown vagrants. Kisses are not inscriptions on a tomb. Kisses are like roses red. They waft their fragrance with their petals on lips in evening gloom. And from love one never asks permission. And with love one knows both joy and pain. You are mine alone, those hands can whisper, which have torn the black yashmak in twain. Sabake Kachalova to Kachalov's dog. Give me your paw, Jim, just for luck. I've never seen a paw, no, never. Let's both bay to the moon, my buck, for tranquil times and windless weather. Give me your paw, Jim, just for luck. Please, dear old chap, don't slobber so. Just see with me the simplest things. True, what life's like you do not know. You do not know what loss life brings. Your master's kind and famous too. And he has many guests of note. And each comes smiling up to you and gently strokes your velvet coat. You're devilish handsome, doggy-wise, with such a faithful, pleasant fizz, and asking not a drop be besides, like a drunken pal, you plonk your kiss. Dear Jim, among the guests who'd call were any and every kind there once, but she, the most quiet and sad of all, has not dropped in by any chance. But she will come, I swear, you'll see. When I'm not there, her eye once caught, just tenderly lick her hand for me, for all which was, or not, my fault. Neskazanoi, sinye, nezhnoi. Yet untold, so blue and tender. 1925. Yet untold, and so blue and tender. You, my land, after thundery storm. And my soul, like a field unending, breathed red roses and honey warm. I am quiet, the years run their courses, but what's past I shall never regret. It's as if some mad troika of horses galloped the land till the sun was set. Dust rose around and hooves beat resounding, devilish whistling then smothered all. But in huts, in the forest surrounding, one can even hear leaflets fall. Is that a sleigh bell? Or distant echoes? All in calm breathes my breast today. Stay, my soul, we have travelled as fellows long on life's stormy predestined way. 
Let us consider now all we have seen there, all that has happened, what's new in our land. Let's forgive grievances which may have been there, faults of our own or another's hand. I accept all that has been or not granted, only regret with my thirty years that too little in youth I demanded, dozing with tavern smoke round my ears. Still the young oak which no acorns has given does not fade like the grass on the mead. Ah, my youth, my youth with storms riven, golden-haired and hot-headed indeed. Ya edu dalenoi. I walk down the valley. 1925. I walk down the valley, cap pushed back from forehead, skin tanned, swarthy fingers thrust in soft kid gloves. Far away are shining rose tinted steppe lands. Wide and blue and gleaming, quiet the river moves. I'm a carefree fellow, nothing now I'm needing. Only would listen to music, echo it in my heart. Only softly the breezes coolly should be fleeting. Only back unending play my youthful part. Out beyond the highway, Neath the hill slopes hustling, what fine men and women, what a festive throng. Something rakes are whispering, something scythes are whistling. Hey there, poet, listen, are you weak or strong? On the earth it's nicer, no more flight in the heavens. As you love the valleys, as you should love to toil. Are you not free from the village? Were you not a peasant? Take a sweep with a scythe now. Show your zeal on the soil. Ah, the pen's no hayrake. Ah, <laughs> the scythe's no pen here. Though the scythe is making long and lovely lines. Neath the summer sunshine, neath the springtime rain there, People of all ages read them too, betimes. Off comes my English jacket. Well then, devil take it. Give me a scythe, somebody. Then I'll show you how. Am I not your brother? Am I not a native? Memories of my village don't I treasure till now? I think naught of hillocks. I think naught of gullies. Fine the side goes swinging in the morning mist. Grassy lines in windrows I leave along the valleys. Let the sheep and horses read them if they list. In these lines lies music. In these lines words wisdom. Therefore I am happy thinking here of naught. Let the sheep and cattle Every red cow read them, paying for the pleasure, warm milk, as they ought. Echwi Sani Hey, you sledges! 1925 Hey! You sledges, ah, horses, horses, boat on earth by old Nick, it appears. Over their dashing stepland courses, sleigh bells are ringing, ha, <laughs> till tears. There's no moon and no dogs are whining in the distant deserted land. Hold on tight, my life, bold shining. 
not yet hopelessly aged I stand. Sing, slave driver, despite the darkness, if you wish I'll sing seconds to you. Sing of a maiden's sly-eyed glances, or of my merry young days too. Ah, how often, with cap well tilted, horses I harness in the shafts. Now I lay on fresh hay, unwilted. Think what they called me, <laughs> what cries, what laughs. And from somewhere a girl came swaying, and in the midnight silence fine, chatterbox my accordion playing, more than one I enticed to be mine. All has passed, and my hair is fading. Horses exhausted, our yard stands bleak, and the accordion's not parading, having forgotten the way to speak. Still my soul with cold is not gasping. Frost and snow I find pleasant, no fears. Since over all so swiftly passing, sleigh bells are laughing, ha, 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 till tears. Glupo e serce ne besia. Beat not so fast, foolish heart. 1925 Beat not so fast, foolish heart. Happiness cheats us all here. Beggars get only a share. Beat not so fast, foolish heart. Magical moon's golden charms Flood chestnut trees in the glade, Lapped here in Lala's fair arms, Under her yashmak I hide. Beat not so fast, foolish heart. Each one at times, like a child, Often must laugh and then weep. So fell our lot in this world, Gladness and sadness to reap. Be not so fast, foolish heart. I have seen many a strand, happiness sought everywhere. To that desired borderland, I shall no longer aspire. Beat not so fast, foolish heart. Life did not wholly deceive. Drunk with new strength, I shall move. Heart, you should sleep at least, Here in the lap of your love. Life does not wholly deceive. Time may sweep us too away, Swift as an avalanche strong. And then to love will reply, Just with the nightingale's song. Beat not so fast, foolish heart. Sestre Shure, ach, kak mnoga na svete košek. To Sister Shure, ah, how many cats there are living, 1925. Ah, oh, how many cats there are living. You and I couldn't count them all. My heart dreams of sweet peas waving and the blue stars ringing call. In delirium, asleep or stirring, from the distant days I see, on the stove bench, a kitten purring and indifferently gazing at me. I was then a mere babe, no bigger, but while Granny sang, he crawled and pounced like a little tiger on the ball that to him I rolled. All that passed, 
and Granny vanished. And in one or two years, about, from that cat, a fur hat they fashioned, and our old granddad wore it out. Do svidania. Fare you well. Fare you well, my friend. So fare you well. Dearest mine, you're with me in my breast. This predestined, separated spell gives a promise of a future tryst. Fare you well, my friend, no hand, no word to you. Do not grieve for me with sorrowing brow. In this life, to die is nothing new, but to live, of course, no newer now. God bless you at Christmas.